Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank the, uh, the FSI Media for uh, organizing this uh, media press uh, this, this morning. Today is day 28 of the search for Frank Young. Local crews, both Red Earth and Sholay Cree Nation, have continued the searches along with outside uh, search and rescue crews as well. Uh, at the moment, as well, we are currently waiting. Uh, response from from the rangers for uh, additional support for search and rescue su uh, support
we thank the people and the group that held the uh, candlelight vigil in Edmonton, Alberta at the legislative grounds last night. We also extended that solidarity with the Red Earth Cree Nation and Shoal Lake Cree Nation and, and the Prince Albert Grand Council as well as we did that candlelight vigil at 8 p.m. last night to stand with the, and continue to send that message of hope. Now we will have uh, Frank Young's family spokesperson, his aunt, uh, Teresa Whitecap. Um, and if the family wants to stand behind to show support for her while she speaks. Um, good morning, everybody. Coming from my family that are standing behind me. We are Frank's family. Five-year-old Frank, my grandson. Uh, my name is uh, Teresa Whitecap. And uh, ever since day when when Frank went missing, we be we came as a a family. Just want to make that um, known to everybody that my family are very strong, and the reason that we are strong is because we come together as one.
and it is the prayers that keep us together, give that provides the strength, and we are thankful for that. Despite this being day 28, we we still are we still view this mission as a rescue mission. I was in the North Battleford area two days ago and I uh, had to get a few things doing some visiting around and I had a little tug someone tugged on my arm thinking it was an adult I turned around and looked I looked down and was a it was a little boy about yay high what a seven-year-old boy I figure and he wanted me to say something to you guys Tell them we hope Frank comes home. That's what this young boy said. So other children are praying out there. We're praying. And as the many speakers before me said, we won't give up. We want to do a call out and a request and an expectation. to Prime Minister Trudeau and Premier Scott Moe to support us, to send your resources, to send the Army, the Rangers. There was a lot of fatigue that has transpired the last, the last month from the searchers. And the day Frank went missing, everybody acted right away. The caregiver, my niece Barb, right away went searching for him when he knew he was not with the with the siblings. And the whole neighborhood joined in. They focused on the neighborhood. And when they couldn't find Frank around the neighborhood, Barb went towards the, the main reserve that's where the store is. He went looking for Frank. There's a playground there, and there's another playground that exists within the community. But to no avail, they couldn't find him. Um, uh, Jarvis, at that time, went to a, there's a subdivision called Nadakam. <clears throat> that's where he went to get some water for his family. So Barb called him, are you with Frank? And he said, no, I'm not with Frank. So by the time he came back to the house, uh, Jarvis, uh, the fire suppression joined in, knowing what, was, knowing what was happening. They started helping with the search. Um, Around three, three o'clock, um, they decided to notify RCMP of what was happening. Uh, RCMP responded right away, and we thanked them for that. And Carrot River Detachment responded right away. And they came to Redders. They did the investigation, and, um, asking questions. Who was with Frank? Who saw Frank? And I'm glad that some of the people that uh, responded to these questions, I thank them for, for helping us.
As the Grand Chief said, we assisted leadership and made an ask to have the Rangers deployed into the community to help search for Frank Young. The Chief is waiting for a response from the government back when they will be deployed and if they will be deployed to the community, but we are hoping that that request will be made for the leadership and for the family. And as, as we stated before in previous uh, media releases that we will not that we will not stop until we find Frank and that's the message that uh, we, we continue to send and we are we thank we thank you we ask you to keep sending our prayers to both the both to the family to the young family and also to the Red Earth Cree Nation and the Shoal Lake Cree Nation so with that I thank you God bless And I talked to my family not too long ago. You know, once we find Frank, we are going to hold a big community feast for all the people that have come and helped search Frank to give them, to give, say thank you to them. And I want to host it in Red Earth because that's where Frank is raised by his auntie Barb. Because I believe that the Indian culture, you know, that's her tradition to give thanks, is to hold a feast, to say thank you for all the people that come into our lives. And uh, I'm glad that we were able to do this today. We've been putting it off because we were hoping each day that Frank will be brought a room to us. And I told my, my nieces, continue holding on to that hope. And that's what keeps us going every day mm -hmm. is the hope that we're going to see Frank. I pray for all the searchers, all the people that are in our circle. I pray for everybody in the morning. Or when I'm traveling, when I go to bed, when I wake up middle of the night, I pray and I pray asking our Heavenly Father to guide the searchers to bring Frank home to us. Jamie Smallboy says the case of missing five-year-old Frank Young at Red Earth Cree Nation is just another example of a system that doesn't serve missing Indigenous people. When Young went missing April 19th, RCMP said his disappearance didn't meet the criteria to warrant an Amber Alert. There was no evidence he'd been abducted. But Jamie Smallboy says situations on reserves are different. Well, on a reserve, the opportunities for people to witness an abduction are not the same as in a city or in a town setting because you have people on every corner in a city, but not on the reserve. We do have people that drive on the reserves looking and hunting for our women and our children. They don't include that. They don't, that doesn't even hit the Amber Alert criteria at all. So it needs to be adjusted to be inclusive of all the differences. Small Boy believes the ball gets dropped many times when an Indigenous person is reported missing. That's kind of, it seems like where the breakdown is, the individual's bias. They take it upon themselves. Well, is this an emergency or is this not an emergency? Is this person really missing or 
Are they just indigenous and they're out praying or they're at a cousin's or they're at an aunt's? Small Boy is hoping to present the Change.org petition to Justice Minister David Lametti and the Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations, Mark Miller, this fall and plans to gather more signatures over the summer.